Yo, what's up guys? It's Ramadan season, so to all my Muslim friends, this video is specially made for every one of you. So fasting season is going to be very tough. Most of you is going to fast up to 15 hours, 12 to 15 hours. And here comes the question is, is it possible to still maintain your fitness level? Or not just maintain, to improve, to progress like losing weight, getting lean, or gain muscles? Well, yes, it is very possible. Here is why. During this Ramadan season, many people, they are more consistent with their lifestyle. Example like sleeping and waking up at a certain time and eat, eating at a certain uh, fixed time, right? So because of this, right, everyone is more consistent with their nutrition and resting. So all you need to do is just manipulate a little bit, right? Eating the right food, training the right way. I would say in, if you do it right in this one month, you can actually achieve a pretty good result, right? So the first thing to do is uh, always keep your workout short. So it's very challenging for those of you who still want to train, especially bodybuilders. Huge respect to everyone of you still training on a fasting season. What you can do is actually shorten your workout duration. Instead of training like one hour to one and a half hour, Try to bring it down to 40 minutes or even 30 minutes. The trick to shorten up your workout session is try to time your resting time. So every time when you finish training, get a stopwatch or get a timer, time it, right? Make sure you don't rest anything too long. By doing this, you're not just shortening your workout, but you're actually giving your workout a good quality. This requires some discipline to do it. It's not as easy as it sounds, right? And another good thing of a short workout is basically when you are fasted, most probably your body is in a very stressed level. Stress level as in catabolism, meaning that you most probably going to use muscles as energy. So by keeping your workout short, you actually prevent yourself putting in your body into the catabolic mode, right? The stress mode. So get into the gym, just do your workout, finish it fast and go back home and eat. Also try not to have a big meal before your workout because what happens if you eat too much before your workout, you're going to feel sluggish, you're going to crash and then what happens after that, you don't feel like working out. Even though if you drag yourself to the gym, you're going to feel very hard because your stomach is so bloated with food. Or most of your blood is in the intestine, right? So you got to push even harder to bring the blood to your overall muscles. So try not to do that. I would say get a liquid meal before your workout. Protein shake is good. And uh, even whole foods like uh, chicken sandwich, just a quick one, egg whites is good enough already, right? Then after your workout, go for a solid meal. So tip number two, what to eat. Basically try to stick with high protein food, right? Food, not just supplement. Basically protein food is a little bit different from carbohydrates because protein, your body will require at least like five to six hours breaking down those amino and supply maintaining in your bloodstream. So if you have high protein every day, most probably you will have lesser craving and you feel more satisfied. So protein like chicken, beef, fish, eggs, any meat, you name it, right? So get, get in a lot of them and try to reduce your uh, fat intake, right? Although fats help us to sustain our appetite, but most of the foods I believe during this season is really high in fat. So it's not necessary to add fats into your diet. Tip number three is drink a lot, a lot of water and don't reduce your carbohydrates too much because the moment you reduce your carbohydrates, the water can't store in your muscles. So what happens when you're fasted? Basically, you're going to feel dehydrated, right? So don't totally cut down your carbs. Getting moderate amount is good, not too much because you're going to feel sluggish after that, right? And also be careful with caffeine, right? Although you need energy booster in the morning, low to moderate dosage is fine, if you are a caffeine person, try to reduce your caffeine uh, dosage because caffeine also will lead to dehydration. So uh, last but not least, the key message here is stay consistent. Keep training three to five times a week. Make your workout shorter. Eat the right food. If you're travel following my recommendation on the foods to eat, what you can do is uh, go by feeling, right? You can basically follow this principle of 80% healthy or clean eating and another 20% of not so healthy clean eating. Okay, example, I'll drop your three, three meals. Maybe the two, two meals you can have a very good clean chicken, I mean, uh, salad, try to make it as healthy as you can. And then the other meal, right? The other meal, try to make it like a 50-50, which gives you a little bit of flavor for you to feel satisfied. 
this is very important is because we are speaking about one month consistency right you don't want to feel uh, like crap during the ramadan season that's pretty much i want to share and once again i wish every one of you salamat berpuasa have a good one see you in the next video peace